Feeling stuck after setting a goal, you're not alone. Many people experience a strange phenomenon. The moment they desire something, the opposite seems to happen. It feels like the universe is throwing tests your way. This video explains why this occurs and surprisingly why it's a good sign. The key lies within you. From understanding the nature of these tests to uncovering how to navigate them, we will explore how these challenges are not merely barriers, but essential steps in our journey towards manifesting our deepest desires. Stay with us as we unlock the secrets to understanding the universe's profound role in shaping our destiny. Picture this. You are now in your current reality. In your desired reality, you're living your dream life with the perfect job, amazing connections, and overall fulfillment. What separates the two? Attachment and fear. The more you desire this future, the more attached you become, leading to increased anxiety about not achieving it. This fear and attachment create a sense of being tested. But here's the good news. These challenges are temporary. They're your mind bridging the gap between who you are and who you want to be. So how do you overcome these obstacles? First, understand what's happening. Recognize these challenges as part of your transformation, not the universe purposefully making things difficult. Second, hold on to your vision of yourself in your desired future. Believe in that future self even when things seem tough. There are ways to reduce your fear and attachment, and we'll explore those in another video. Remember, feeling tested is a sign of growth. It means you're on the path to manifesting your dreams. Stay positive, and we'll unlock more tips for making that transformation a reality. Remember that all this resistance is actually taking place in your own subconscious mind, which the outer world reflects back to you like a mirror. How we deal with these challenges shows if we're ready to reach our goals. Do we give up easily, or do we learn, change, and keep going? It's like the universe watching to see if we're really ready for something new. The key to manifesting lies in what you control, your perception. It's the only thing you can truly change. That's why manifesting, the law of assumption, and deep self-concept work are so important. They teach you to harness the power of perception. Most people overlook this power. They focus on external circumstances they cannot control. This is why you feel tested when you try to embody your ideal self in your current reality. You're applying a new perception of you onto an old reality. It's the only way to create change, but it creates a clash, a dissonance. This dissonance is a wave pushing you towards your new self. It's a sign of growth, not punishment. So how do you navigate this? First, understand what's happening. These challenges are your subconscious bridging the gap, not the universe purposefully making things difficult. Second, hold on to your vision of yourself as your ideal self. Believe in that future self even when things seem tough. Remember, feeling tested is a sign of progress. It means you're actively manifesting your dreams. Stay positive and we'll unlock more tips for making that transformation a reality. Everything feels like it's working out for you, even if it doesn't seem that way right now. That discomfort you feel is actually a positive sign. It's the resolution process in action. This dissonance helps you bridge the gap between who you are right now and who you want to be. So how do you navigate this feeling of being tested? You have a choice. You can slip back into your old way of thinking, which feels comfortable and familiar, or you can hold on to your new perception, even if your reality hasn't caught up yet. Your current circumstances don't define you. They're a reflection of your past self-concept. The discomfort you feel is triggered by fear and attachment to your old way of being. Here's the good news. Not everyone experiences these tests. If you have low attachment and fear around your desires, the transition might feel smoother. This explains why some successful people might not relate to this feeling. Their beliefs and self-concept were already aligned with their desired outcomes. The key lies in understanding this internal process, not focusing on external circumstances. We'll explore ways to manage attachment and fear in another video. Feeling tested is a sign of progress. It means you're actively shifting your perception and creating the life you desire. Stay positive 
and we'll unlock more tips for making that transformation a reality. The key takeaway? Don't compare your journey to that of others. Everyone has their own path to self-discovery. This internal process of aligning perception with desire is what creates the external results you see. So, when you're testing out the law of assumption or other self-concept methods, don't just focus on your biggest, most emotionally charged desires. These can be the most challenging to manifest due to attachment and fear. Instead, experiment with smaller desires you have less attachment to. This will help you build confidence in the process. Real-life examples and case studies. Let's explore some vivid examples to see this concept in action. These stories not only illuminate the nature of these tests, but also demonstrate how individuals can grow and ultimately succeed by navigating them with wisdom. Example 1. Manifesting a new career path. Consider Sarah's journey from a corporate job to becoming a freelance graphic designer. As soon as she set this intention, she faced a series of rejections and unexpected financial difficulties. Instead of viewing these as mere setbacks, Sarah recognized them as tests of her resilience, adaptability, and true desire to forge a new career path. By embracing these challenges and refining her approach, she not only overcame the obstacles, but also established a successful freelance career. The universe was testing her readiness to embrace the uncertainty and independence required in freelancing. Example 2. Seeking a life partner. James, in his quest for a meaningful relationship, found himself repeatedly encountering potential partners who did not share his core values. Each relationship presented challenges that tested his understanding of love, promise, and personal growth. Through these experiences, James gained deeper insight into his own relational needs and areas needing personal development. These were not failures, but reflections of what he needed to address within himself. When he finally met his significant other, it was clear the universe had been preparing him to be a more communicative, understanding, and genuinely ready partner. Example 3. Achieving Financial Abundance Maria aimed to manifest significant wealth and took the leap to start her own business. She faced an early setback when her initial investment did not yield the expected return, leading to a financial loss. This test challenged her management skills and her ability to stay composed under pressure. By analyzing these setbacks and learning from them, Maria adjusted her business model and improved her financial management strategies. These adjustments reflected her growing ability to handle and generate wealth, aligning her more closely with the abundance she sought. Example 4. Personal Transformation and Spiritual Growth Tom, striving for personal and spiritual growth, encountered various life crises that forced him to confront his deepest fears and unresolved issues. Each crisis challenged him to apply his spiritual learnings in real-world scenarios, such as forgiveness, detachment, and empathy. As Tom navigated these challenges, he found his spiritual understanding deepened, and his external world began to reflect this internal growth, attracting more positive and harmonious relationships and opportunities. These examples showcase that the universe's tests are intricately designed to reflect our deepest needs and challenge us precisely where we need to grow. Each test, while difficult at the moment, is a crucial step toward greater personal development and ultimately toward achieving our most heartfelt desires. Remember, feeling tested is not a sign of external punishment, but a marker of internal growth and a signal that you are aligning more deeply with your true aspirations. How to recognize and respond to these tests. Understanding the universe's tests means knowing what they are and why they happen. It also means having a plan to deal with them well. When we notice these tests and handle them right, it can really change how we reach our goals. Here's how to spot and deal with these challenges. Spotting the tests. Unexpected problems. When things suddenly get tough, and block our goals, like a big bill when we're trying to save money, it's probably a test of how we handle money and tough situations. 
repeated problems. If the same problem keeps coming up, it's a sign the universe wants us to work on that part of our life. Big emotions. If we get super upset over something small, it might mean there's something deeper bothering us that needs fixing. Good changes in disguise. Sometimes what looks like a bad thing, like not getting a job, can lead to something better if we stay open. Dealing with the tests. Keep perspective. Remember, these challenges aren't just roadblocks. They're chances to show we're ready for what we want. Seeing the big picture helps us handle them without losing sight of our goals. Learn from them. Every challenge teaches us something. Figuring out what we can learn, like patience or new skills, turns tough times into chances to grow. Stick to your goals. Even when things get hard, keep focusing on what you want. Regularly reminding ourselves of our goals helps us stay on track, stay strong. Being able to handle our feelings well is important when facing tough times. Things like meditation or writing can help us stay calm and strong. Get help. Sometimes we need support from others to get through tough times. Asking for advice from someone we trust or getting help from friends can make a big difference. Example. Take Angela, for instance. She wants a big promotion at work, but faces a tough situation there. Seeing it as a test of her skills, she tackles it head on. She stays focused on her goals, learns more about how her workplace works, and gets advice from someone she trusts. Handling this test well not only solves her problem, but also makes her a better candidate for future promotions. Understanding and dealing with the universe's tests gives us the power to not just get by, but to do well through tough times. It helps us keep getting closer to the life we want, turning problems into chances to move forward. Conclusion. In this video, we explored the profound concept of how the universe tests us before our reality changes. We began by understanding that these tests are not obstacles, but necessary steps for ensuring we are ready to embrace the changes we desire. We delved into the nature of these tests, categorizing them into signs, challenges, and direct tests, each serving to guide and refine our journey towards our goals. To sum up, the universe's tests are integral to our development and readiness for change. By embracing and navigating these challenges, we align more closely with our true intentions and prepare ourselves for the successful manifestation of our deepest desires. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more video on manifestation, law of attraction, and spirituality. If you have any questions or something to add, let us know in the comments below.